بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم My topic today is about short talk about uh, Bilionate and Bilionate dislocation. Hoping you like it. In this short talk, we want to differentiate between Bilionate versus Bilionate dislocation. Both are common. Dislocation of the wrist, lunate and berry dislocation, berry lunate dislocation, and we not we want to differentiate between them. In this letter review, the cavity is aligned with the radius, and it is in normal position. And the lunate is volatile displaced, and this is lunate dislocation. And here we see the lunate is in relation with the radius in its place, and the cavity it is dorsally displaced, and this is very lunate dislocation and I want to discuss this again in examples and illustrations and x-rays. Here we see the normal, here the base of the metacarpal bone and here this is the cavity and this is the lunate and this is the radius in this lateral view. We see that the carpal, metacarpal, cavity, and lunate is aligned with the radius, as in this cavity, lunate, radius. Here, metacarpal, cavity, and we have missing of the lunate, and it is volatile displaced, and this is lunate dislocation. And here, lunate in its place, and the cavity, it is dorsally displaced with the metacarpal bone, and this is the very lunate dislocation. Lunate and very lunate dislocation, it is okay in falling from height or motor vehicle cycle accident on out stretched hand. Beridonate dislocation, the cavity is displaced as we see here. In lunate dislocation, the lunate is displaced and the cavity it is in its normal base. With lunate dislocation and very lunate dislocation, we must look for the median nerve. And we must rule out other fractures of the carpal bones is associated with the very lunate dislocation. Again, here, this is the normal cavity lunate radius and base of the metacarpal bone. And here, the lunate is in its normal position, and the cavity base of the metacarpal dorsally displaced very lunate dislocation. Here, the lunate, it is displaced volatile, and here it is displaced volatile, and cavity is Normal imposition base of the metacarpal is normal imposition, and this is lunate dislocation. Here again, 
third meter curve ball bone base and this is the cavity this is the lunate and this is the radius and multi planar reconstruction reformatted CT scan in normal patient. Very lunate dislocation. As we said, cavitate it is displaced dorsally to the lunate. And lunate it is remain in its contact with the radius. On the BA view, the capital lunate joint space is obliterated as the bone overlap with another. Peridonate dislocation is associated with other fractures of cover bones in about 75% and the majority is affecting the scaphoid. Here we see the lunate in its place with the radius and the cavitate is dorsally displaced. And here we see patient presented with dorsal swelling. And here in this BA view, the Capitolunate space is obliterated and overlap. So this is the perilunate dislocation. Capitate is dorsally displaced, lunate normally normally placed in its position, and capitolunate uh, uh, joint on the BA view is on the BA view is obliterated. Lunate dislocation. Lunate is pushed off radius in the bun. And this sign we call it spilled tear cup sign. And seeing this on the lateral view and on the BA view, the B the lunate is triangular in shape, and we call this sign B's of by sign. And also, there is disruption of the uh, of the carpal arcs in this lunate dislocation. As we see here in this view, the lunate is a triangular in shape. Here, this is the lunate, also triangular in shape. And we see this is the first arc. It is here smooth, and here it is interrupted between the between the lunate and a So it is interrupted between lono triquitral joint. And here in the second row, we see the second arc. And this is the triangular lunate. And this is the triangular lunate. And this is the cavity hermit. And there is a scaphoid lunate. This is a scaphoid. A scaphoid lunate arc is obliterated. And also the lono triquitral joint also is obliterated. So disruption of the arcs here in the first arc and the second arc, and here this is the third arc, and we have disruption of the third arc in the capital. This is the cavity, and this is the hamlet, and disruption of this arc at the cavito hamlet joint, and this is a triangular, uh, triangular lunate. Here, this is the example. The cavity is in normal relation with the radius, 
and the donate is displaced volume and the patient is presented with volume swelling with palpable mass due to lunate dislocation on the lateral view the lunate it is displaced volume and we call this sign spelled T cup sign and on the BA view that lunate appear a triangular in shape and we call this sign piece of by sign. And we as we see it, this is the lunate, it is uh, a triangular in shape and this is the piece of by sign as we said there is disruption in the arcs here triquitram between the triquitram and the lunate and also between the scaphoid and lono triquitral joint and cabo uh, Capito Hamid joint here and disruption in the arcs. Here, this is a triangular in shape, lunate, and it is piece of by sign uh, associated with disruption of the arcs. As we said, this is the Cavitate is in normal relation with the radius and the lunate is displaced volary and this is the lunate dislocation. Here, this is test for yourself how understand from this lecture. Test yourself which it is lunate versus very lunate dislocation and this BA and lateral view. Thank you very much for listening.